To get started, let's go to Zoho.com. Towards the bottom of the page, we're going to click on the link for Sites. Once we're on the Sites page, let's go ahead and log in at the top. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one for free by clicking Get Started. Once logged in, if you haven't created a site yet, you'll be directed to the first step. Simply type a name for your site and click Continue. Next, let's select a design for our site. There are a variety of themes to choose from. We can always change our theme anytime. For now, let's find one we like and click Apply. Now we are ready to start adding pages and content to our site. I'm going to start by changing some text and replacing a picture. To replace an image, move your mouse over it and select Change Image. Select the file you'd like to replace it with and click OK. Note that I'm not writing any code. Just type your content as you would in any document. To delete an object, simply click the X in the top right corner of that object. Now I want to add a separate page to showcase my photos. To do this, let's go ahead and click on the New button on the left. I'm going to name this page Portfolio and click OK. To add a single image, select and drag an image from the Elements panel. To add a group of images from Picasa or Flickr, first click on the Widgets tab and then drag down Photo Gallery. Enter your username for Picasa or Flickr and then select the album you'd like to add. Now I realize I want a little bit different look from my website. I can simply select a different theme by going to Themes, Try Another. Now just click Apply, and all of my pages and pictures are all still there with the new theme, and all the content you put in previously is retained. Now that I've created my website, I need to publish it. Let's click Publish in the top right corner. I have three choices for publishing my page. I can publish it under the free subdomain, or use a domain I already have, or even buy a new domain. For now, I'm going to select the free subdomain and then choose a name and click Proceed. Congratulations, your website is now live. You can view your site by clicking on the link provided. You can also share it with friends on Facebook or Twitter. Once you publish your site, you can always go back and edit or add content and publish it again.